because it's 7.30. And uh, I came to this farm. I just got permission to hunt. And it's, uh, it's about, I don't know, a half a mile from my house. And I just thought I would come over here and see if I could roost any birds tonight to hunt before morning, before I have to go to work, before I have to go to work in the morning. And I slipped up on top of this big steep knob to listen for gobbles. And there's a strutter out here in this bean field that joins the property I can hunt. So he's he's gonna roost right here somewhere close. If I don't booger him getting out of here. So I may be back over here in the morning. We'll see what happens.
tagged out in Kentucky, baby. Tagged out. That bird. I came up here last night to roost, to, to roost these birds. I don't think he will go home. You smoke it. I came up here last night to roost these birds. I've been seeing one out in this field behind me. And, uh, anyway, he, uh, I taught this rise, and I could see him out here at, uh, in this field. And I just sat down, and actually, uh, I should have probably just turned and went back over the hill. But he, uh, he ended up seeing me coming flying off and another gobbler was with him and they flew up and roosted right here and he's the one we set up on this morning gobbling everywhere and this bird I think was over here gobbling but he cut pitched down and circled the field and come up the hill here to us had the decoys set up he didn't like the decoys at first but uh, <laughs> he put it and started going off and then he started coming back and Man, the good Lord blessed us with another hunt, another great season here in Kentucky. Uh, that's eight birds down for us. And, uh, man, we just couldn't be more blessed. And, uh, man, thanks for thanks for getting up with me, Blake, and coming and, and videoing me. It was a rainy, cold morning. Spitting well, me your rain jacket. <laughs> yeah, he had to borrow my rain jacket. But we got a long beard down, and... Uh, it's seven o'clock, six fifty-seven. We gotta be at work an hour, but before seven o'clock. But it's before seven o'clock. When that happened, quick, he hammered. He hammered right over here, right over the rise. And so we was actually facing this way. So Blake spun, and I couldn't, I couldn't come any farther than right here because of this tree, and then Blake's head right there. And I thought he was gonna come right at this fence. Well, I wasn't sure. At first, I was like, "Well, is that one? Of the, did we did we miss one of them birds flying in? Was that one? Was that him? You know?" But I forgot about this bird that was gobbling down here. So. Oh man! Look at this beer. Look at that deer right there. Let's go check it out. I don't know what it is. I don't either. Nice. Alright guys, let's go take a look at the bird. Didn't get a good look at him, his beard or anything. I don't know what he looks like, but I believe he's a mature bird. But this late in the season, I'm just happy to put a tag on one. He ain't 25 months. <laughs> Long spurred turkey. Long beard too. Good beard. You drilled him. Long oh. hooks. <laughs> hooks. Look at those hooks. Hooks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, this old this old field bird here, he didn't know what he had. <laughs> I've been watching him out in this field and I, I called the landowner here and said you know, I've been watching this bird on the back side. I actually seen him in, on this other property, and I knew this landowner, and he was gracious enough to let us come in here and hunt. But a uh, long spurred bird down this morning to tag out, out baby. Those spurs got Boom. me shaking. Those are some hooks, man. Hold them up. Put them up Let's see. He ain't very heavy. Awesome. Well guys, it don't get no better than that. I'm extremely blessed and happy to be able to put my tag on this bird here this morning. And uh, we'll, we'll get to get packed up here and get to work here. We got less than an hour now to get to work. So but that'll put a wrap on uh, my season. Um, hopefully we can get a few maybe a few more birds down maybe go with some friends or uh, mom still got two tags but we got one weekend left and we'll see what happens thanks for watching
picked up a wad here about 10 yards past where the bird was laying. If that tells you anything. Well guys, it's uh, May the 5th here and uh, just harvested my second bird of the year here in Kentucky to tag out on a beautiful hunt here this morning. Just everything worked out just right. The bird stayed on the roost for a long time this morning because it was uh, windy and uh, cloudy, rainy, but uh, we waited him out and uh, this bird gobbled right before he come over the hill to us, come worked right into our decoy setup. I have a good good idea that this is the same bird I saw last night. I tried to come over here and roost some birds. Actually bumped probably this one. But he came back around to, to our calls, worked right into our decoy setup, and man, we sure did have a fun morning in the turkey woods. Sure was blessed this morning. <laughs>